Prince George's grandparents are some of the world's best-known faces. King Charles and Queen Camilla, sitting on the royal throne, occupy a special place in the hearts of the British public. However, the young royal's other grandparents, on the side of his mother, play an invaluable role in the life of Prince George. Michael and Carol Middleton were the first members of the family to visit Prince George when he was born, and have been a constant presence in his life ever since. A palace source said that Prince George's grandparents are essential to the young boy's grounding and ability to stay in touch with the lives of everyday Brits. Catherine's sister Pippa revealed that her father is a fun granddad, saying, My father has developed this funny tradition of surprising us at some point by appearing in fancy dress. He buys a new costume each year and typically gets a bit carried away. A couple of Christmases ago, he appeared in an inflatable sumo outfit. The nickname Sumo, is understood, has stuck for Michael. The image on the front of this magazine, taken on a yacht as they watch the Prince and Princess of Wales compete in the 2019 King's Cup regatta off the Isle of Wight, encapsulates the tender relationship between grandfather and grandson. With protective hands either side of George, Michael looks down at him with pride and love while George looks totally at ease under his grandfather's gaze. Having devoted commoner grandparents on hand to help raise him sets George apart from the previous generations of royal children. Michael and Carol Middleton's Berkshire home was the first place that the future heir to the throne lived, following his birth at St. Mary's Hospital in London. It's also where the tight bond between Grandpa Michael and George began to form. A quiet, level-headed man, Michael showed his protective instincts toward his first grandchild early in the young prince's life. A month on from George's arrival, the world was desperate to catch a glimpse of the youngster. However, releasing a professionally taken photograph was the last thing the royal couple wanted to do. Michael had the perfect solution at that time. He proposed that he would take the photo himself, organize a stress-free photo shoot in the garden, and save them the bother of getting in a photographer who would take ages. It meant the nervous new parents could stop any time they wanted. Michael's picture went around the world, allowing Kate and William the space they needed to look after baby George. While role of King Charles, or Grandpa Wales, dictates his future, it is his other grandpa who has shaped his life thus far in countless other ways. They are doing the best job of making a normal situation out of an abnormal one. Both of those future kings have shaped the Middleton's middle class lives, too. They are now at the heart of the British establishment, with their own coat of arms featuring acorns as a symbol of England and strength. Meanwhile, Prince George has also recast his father's life. The arrival of George has allowed William to go from being Prince William to being just dad, says a family friend who has known him since childhood. It's a different role and one that he treasures and protects. The truth is, the future for George is far freer than it was for his father or grandfather. Perhaps by the time he ascends the throne as King George VII, the monarchy will have changed dramatically. Who knows? The Wales' inner family circle of five is now complete. But just beyond stand the Middletons, with Michael's quiet British dignity said to have a wonderfully calming influence on George and the other grandchildren. Their influence is seen on not one, but two future kings. They took William into their family more than 20 years ago. What seems certain is that whatever lies ahead for the young prince in the near future, he can rely on Sumo.